Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise and this is the continuation video of Ratio Analysis. See, Ratio Analysis can be classified into three categories. Number one, Profitability Ratios. Number two, Turnover Ratios. Number three, Solvency Ratios. Okay. Under Profitability Ratios, it has 15 components. That is 15 ratios are there. Under Turnover, 10 ratios are there. And under Solvency, it has three divisions, short term solvency, long term solvency and overall solvency. Okay. See, I will give you the playlist link in the description box. Please try to watch the complete series to get the clarity about this topic. See, the first one is profitability ratio. In the profitability ratio, as I said earlier, it has 15 ratios. Okay. In that, the first five ratios based on net sales. Okay. This we have discussed in the previous video. The link is available in the description box. Okay. So now in this video, we are going to see the remaining profitability ratio along with one numerical problem. Now let's see the problem. ABC company's financial statement contains the following information. Cash, sundry creditors, investment, stock, prepaid expenses. So total current assets. And then total asset. So this total asset consists of total current asset plus total fixed asset is equal to total asset. And then current liabilities, 10 percentage debentures, equity share capital, rupees 10 per share. And then 10 percentage preference share capital and then retained earnings. Okay. Now see the income statement. Statement of profit for the year ended June 30th. Okay. Sales minus cost of goods sold minus interest is equal to net profit. Okay. And minus taxes 50 percentage, you will be getting profit after tax. So, this is the income statement. They have given some information from the balance sheet as well as they have given the income statement. Now, see the adjustments. Dividend declared on equity shares 2,20,000. And market price of equity shares rupees 40. Okay. So these are the informations given in the problem. With this information, they are asking us to calculate. See, you are required to calculate the following. Number one, return on investment. Number two, return on shareholders funds. Number three, return on equity shareholders funds. Next one, return on total assets. And then, Earning per share and then price earning ratio and then payout ratio and then retained earnings ratio and then dividend yield ratio and finally interest cover ratios. Okay. Now we are going to calculate these ratios based on the data given in the problem. Okay. Now let's see the solution. See in the profitability ratio. The first five formulas we have discussed in the previous video. Okay. So the remaining thing we are going to discuss in this video. In that the first one is a return on investment. The formula is operating profit divided by capital employed into 100. I will tell you what is the meaning of operating profit and capital employed. See the solution. Operating profit means earnings before interest and tax. Okay. This you can find out from the income statement. And the next one is capital employed. See, capital employed can be calculated based on four different formulas given by four different authors. So, you can follow any one. You will be getting different answers. I am going to follow the first one. Okay. That is a share capital plus reserves and surplus plus long term loans, debentures, everything. Any long term borrowings in the problem that you can check. Okay. So find out the total and subtract if there is any non-business asset in the balance sheet as well as any fictitious assets. So these items need to be subtracted. Then you will be getting capital employed. Okay. Now see the problem. See the income statement. Sales minus cost of sales is equal to Earnings before interest and tax. Okay. So after subtracting interest and tax, you will be getting profit after tax. But here we need operating profit. No. So operating profit means profit before interest and tax. So 12 lakhs is the operating profit. 
and then capital employed. See the balance sheet here and the liability side we have equity shares and preference shares 15 plus 5 20 lakhs and then retained earnings that is reserves and surplus also belongs to shareholder no just add 8 lakh 12,000 and then long term loans and borrowings so debentures also long term borrowings so add these components and in this problem there is no fictitious assets and non business asset so you can find the capital employed simply adding all the four different components debentures equity shares preference shares and retained earnings now see the solution profit earned before interest and tax that is operating profit is 12 lakhs divided by capital employed equity share capital preference share capital retained earnings plus debentures okay 44 lakh 12000 into 100 you will be getting 27.2 percentage so this is a return on investment now see the next one see the problem we have calculated the first one return on investment the second one is a return on shareholders funds okay now let's see the formula first see the formula return on shareholders fund okay the formula is net profit after interest and tax divided by shareholders fund into 100 okay so net profit after interest and tax this you can find out from the income statement okay after subtraction of interest and tax the residual profit is called net profit after interest and tax and the next one shareholders fund shareholder funds consist of equity shareholder preference shareholders plus any reserves and surplus belongs to shareholder okay into 100 you will be getting returns on shareholders fund see the calculation see the problem in the income statement we have profit after interest and tax that is 5 lakh 20 thousand then shareholder fund shareholder fund consists of equity share capital preference share capital plus retained earnings you will be getting total shareholder fund okay see the calculation return on shareholders fund net profit after interest and tax 5 lakh 20 thousand and equity shareholders fund equity share capital plus preference share capital plus retained earnings belongs to shareholders okay so total 28 lakh 12 thousand so 5 lakh 20 divided by 28 lakh 12 thousand into 100 you will be getting 18.49 percentage okay now see the problem so far we have calculated return on investment return on shareholders fund the next one return on equity shareholders fund okay see the formula for return on equity shareholders fund okay so here we are going to compare two things number one the net profit which is available to equity shareholders so what is the format to find out the profit available to equity shareholders net profit after interest after tax okay and after preferential dividend if any see in the capital structure of the company if you find any preferential share capital then you have to pay preferential dividend to them okay out of the profit after paying all these things only the residual profit net profit is available to equity shareholders okay so here this is the formula net profit after interest tax and preferential dividend divided by equity shareholders fund in the previous one we compared with shareholders fund shareholder consists of equity and preference shares okay but here you have to compare only with equity shareholders fund okay now let's see the calculation see the income statement okay so this is the profit after interest and after taxation how much 5 lakh 20 thousand now we need to subtract preferential dividend if any in our problem we have preferential share capital how much 5 lakhs so 10 percentage dividend we have to calculate 10 percentage on 5 lakhs 50,000 that has to be subtracted from the this profit then you will be getting net profit after interest tax and preferential dividend okay so that is the profit available to equity shareholders then equity shareholder fund so which is the equity shareholder fund it consists equity share capital plus retained earnings that is any retained earnings or any reserves and surplus that is belongs to equity shareholders okay so 15 lakhs plus 8 lakh 12 thousand you will be getting equity shareholders fund see the calculation 
return on equity shareholders fund first one net profit after interest tax and preferential dividend so here we have net profit after interest and tax so we need to subtract preferential dividend how much 10 percentage on 5 lakhs so 50000 so minus this amount you will be getting 4 lakhs 70000 divided by equity shareholders fund so equity shareholders fund consists of equity share capital plus retained earnings or reserves and surplus this is belongs to equity shareholders okay so you'll be getting 23 lakhs 12000 into 100 answer 20.33 percentage this is return on equity shareholders fund now see the problem so far we have calculated return on investment return on shareholders fund return on equity shareholders fund now we are going to calculate this one fourth one that is return on total assets okay see the formula return on total assets okay so here we are going to compare total profit with total asset see total profit means net profit after tax but before interest okay so in the income statement you can find net profit after interest and after tax take that profit and add back the interest which is already subtracted then you'll be getting the total profit that profit we can compare with the total assets okay so total assets minus fictitious assets any if there is any fictitious assets that has to be subtracted from the total asset if not just leave it and then multiply with 100 now let's see the calculation see the income statement here we have profit after interest and tax because already interest subtracted and tax also deducted okay so this is the profit after interest and after tax but we need profit after tax but before interest so that we need to add back this 1,60,000 interest along with the profit in order to find out the net profit after tax but before interest okay 5,20,000 plus 1,60,000 okay divided by total asset see the balance sheet so how much total asset they have given total assets as 64 lakhs and if there is any fictitious asset you have to subtract that value from this total asset but in this problem there is no fictitious assets okay now see the calculation net profit after tax 5,20,000 plus interest 1,60,000 divided by total asset in this problem there is no fictitious asset okay so total asset how much 64 lakhs into 100 so total 6 lakh 80 divided by 64 lakhs into 100 answer 10.62 percentage so this is return on total assets see the problem so far we have calculated four ratios based on return number one return on investment return on shareholders fund return on equity shareholders fund and return on total assets okay the remaining ratios we will discuss in the next video. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you understand this concept. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.